Hello, I am Bashar Bizra, consultant ENT facial plastic surgeon. I published my textbook on rhinoplasty, facial plastic surgery in 2002. The book has more than 500 pages and 1,000 illustrations. The textbook was forwarded by the presidents of the American and European Academies of Facial Plastic Surgery and was distributed worldwide. I hope you find these videos are very interesting. It's designed mainly for uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons and ENT and facial plastic surgeons. It's professional and educational. It presents my approach, my school, the business school of rhinoplasty. Uh, you are most welcome and I hope you find it very interesting. A case of cooked, dev deviated nose to the left side. So the nose is deviated to the left, C shape as you see, with mild hum, maybe because of the overlapping of the bone, with wide alar base and uh, coda dislocation. So we are going to consider now septorhinoblasty and the local with sedation. Thank you. We'll identify the tip defining point. I mean the junction between the medial and the third cast or intermediate and the third cast. So that's very clear here. <laughs> the third cast kept intact, so we work immediately, we will work immediately only in this area. So this is the beauty of this technique is to work medially, working mainly on the midline in this area here. Okay. We we'll do the some more local at the osteotomy line. The operation and the local with sedation. So we'll inject some more local at the osteotomy place. You see the patient has got a dislocation to the right side with deviated in the septum to the left. So we start with doing our septoblasty, correcting the septum. We try to get to the right brain. I think we are on the right brain straight away. And elevating the flap on the left side. When you are on the right brain, you will restriction run quickly and smoothly and no much bleeding. And then now we are going to the right secondary flap. Again, we are on the right plane. The setup is grossly <coughs> deviated to the left side. Mm -hmm. The operation and the local with sedation. And you see now the septum exactly in the, between the two blades and it's kinked and deviated so it incised about 1.5 cm below the dorsum septum try to get the skin back out also it's going to be used for grafting later Continue our septoblasty. So we get this of course from above the maxillary crest as you see on this and now it's more than enough. You see now we got very nice adequate airway with intact flaps. 
intact flaps as you see here intact flaps inside okay give me a knife let me decode this location Okay. Now we start our nanoblasty midway, mid cathode cross, and towards the midline. We are working mainly on the midline, as you see, in the midline. We don't go that uh, halfway and to midline. So we're looking at the tip in this area only, in this area. And on the dorsum. So our undermining. The patient has got small hump. So, and the patient has got deviation. So it's wise not to remove the hump at this stage because the hump may be just a false hump due to the overlapping of the nasal bone. And once you do your osteotomy and you put the nasal bone right, the hump will go. Therefore, if you if you take the hump now, you may end needing a dorsum graft at the end and with all the problem of the graft. Okay. So this is also a very important point to remember. When you have a small hump and deviation, do not try to Remove the hump at this stage, keep it to the end of the procedure and see if needed, it can be done at the end of the procedure. Now the main thing that the, this patient, because he got deviation to the left with C shape, he will need a, a good speeder graft on the right side. The patient has got really a nice tip definition, so we don't really need to have a tip blast. We just need to have to put a good columella strut here to support the columella after we correct the code of dislocation. And we're considering now speed of the on this side, Sasha. So I'll show you how you can put speed of graph in very quick, straight way without the need for the external abortion. Yeah. So this is the abdominal cartilage, this is abdominal cartilage, the dorsum septum, and we go at the junction between the dorsum kidney section. We go at the junction of the dorsum septum with the abdominal cartilage, we make a nick to the knife, which is under the cartilage, under the cartilage, and below the mucosa. Sorry, under the cartilage and above the mucosa. You are under, you see now, section. We are under the abdominal cartilage and we are above the mucosa of the nose. And with, with sharp scissors, we shine in the bucket, exact bucket, going all the way through, all the way gently, gently, gently off it. Gently. Under the abdominal cartilage, very gently, exact bucket. Exact bucket. What you need, we need to fill this area because we got C-shaped deformity for the second section. Yeah, second. For C-shaped deformity, the C deformity, how we can manage it is by filling the concave bulb. So this is now, we are under the abrator cartilage, above the mucosa, and at the junction of the abrator cartilage with the dorsum septum. And see, this is the size of, this is now the size of the graph I need. The size of the graft, the length of the graft I need. So the graft will go through this 
area here to augment the concave part, part of the cartilaginous dorsum and how you do that you, you insert this under the abalatal cartilage and above the mucosa because underlay graft sometimes you can put on overlay but now we are going to put underlay and we go again back section B good section good section find my bucket give me the section okay. need to find my bucket now which I already made I have to take give me the sharp scissor again on Let's find my bucket. That's called for me the scissor now. Open the scissor gently. And we'll be going in. We can go out now. You see that's it. That's it. We are in. That's very good. We trim this. You see now it's being filled here. You see now it's being filled. So this will achieve the symmetry in both sides. And you see now very easily. We put this with our graph. Just have to trim this extra. Give me put it here. We just trim this extra bar here. That's it. And then we we'll now suture. We fix it in place and we suture. And with the suture, we go through the cartilage. We need to fix it. Make sure it will not, it will not leave. So see how easy you can use foot spreader graft. You don't need external approach. You don't need to work in difficult angles and put so many sutures. Just put the exact pocket in the exact place and do it. This is the beauty of the Indonesian approach. You get your goal, you achieve your target quickly and accurately. You make an exact pocket. Okay. Now we need good columnar graft to support the columnar because the patient we did. For the dislocation, for the dislocation. So we prepare a colomental scrap now. Good one. Okay, I watch sharp edges. And now we, again, we make an exact pocket, you know. Because the patient has got nice tip, nice tip definition. Because the deviation happened recently, I mean, two, three years ago, so it didn't happen a long time ago. Patient had been a long time ago. Uh, during the development of the nose, they will have tip asymmetry and need tip velocity, but this patient does not really need a tip velocity. So we go in between the two medial cora, in between the two medial cora, and down. So this is very good piece of cartilage will support the columella and the prevent columella retraction because sometimes after you correct the coda dislocation you may end with columella retraction if we go in. So we will fill in now, we are going to fill the columella with this patient own septal graph. Okay, and switch on that. And we'll do with the first suture. The switch from inside to the medial cora, so to make sure it will not slip down. With the first suture cartilage to cartilage. And then next suture is skin to skin. So now that we are sure that this, this truck is in place, it will not slip down or move after we suture it. And then now, The graft is very nice, it fits the columella, it will prevent columella retraction, 
It has stretched also the phenomenon that it and give us multiple rejections. There's multiple rejections achieved following using this nice graph. Protection to skin. Okay. Now straighten it. Septum, because we did collection of the code as septum. So the first sutra will go high up here, it will go through the mediate cover and the columnar slot. The first sutra. <laughs> the patient has got concave, concave dorsum, so we need to do intermediate osteotomy also. Okay. Many of the con convex side. Maybe we not need to do the middle osteotomy on the concave, only with many on the convex side. Mobilization. We go to the concave side and I think don't need to do Slide, slide, the nose slides to the left side. 
because this one is low, this one is high. Just turn it slightly the left side. Thank you. 
So if there's some reason enough problem, because now with the surface tension, it will stop. Many we we switch to the major bleeding, but if it's just oozing, it's not a big issue. So stop now. With the surface tension of the tissue on each other. has got called a dislocation. So there's some asymmetry. I'm trying to solve it out as much as possible. Impossible to get perfection. There is no perfection in the deviated noses. And even actually there is no perfection, no perfection in any rhinoplasty. Patients should understand and everyone should understand there is no perfect rhinoplasty because easily because there is no perfect healing in the body. Now we are almost there, nice, almost symmetrical, as you see. Okay. I need Thank you. 
Спасибо им с мой субъект Very nice, now very nice to the box. You can check it again. Make sure it is, yes, it is in blaze, like that in blaze. It's a very straight box now, and from the side, from the side, also very straight, you see, there was a hump, it was actually false hump due to overlapping of the bone, and we implemented here the subjective area slightly. That's really very nice, straight, symmetric, and nose. You have seen the photograph before now, and you see now we achieved very nice profile. The hump has done. It was a false hump due to overlapping of the bones of the bone because of radiation. We consider a supratypograph with nice tip projection. We put a large columnar strut there. So we did separate last year. We created the whole dislocation. We did a speed graph, right speed graph. We did narrowing. So very straight, very straight dorsum. So the Swedish graph there has filled the concave part and achieved more symmetry. We did bilateral osteotomies. Uh, in the left side, we did mid-lateral and lateral. And in the right side, we did lateral osteotomy only. So we achieved very straight dorsum by using osteotomies and Swedish graph. Nice tip, as you see. Nice, and also we, we reduced slightly the alar uh, base. And we did the septoblasty and the correction of the caudal dislocation. All being done in less than 30 minutes. So this is uh, Basha Bizra from BMC in London and Dubai. Septoranoblasty of a deviated nose and deviated septum. With the use of spreader graft and subratibograft. Thank you.